To help your child understand subtraction, I'm going to apply a very basic principle of counting on method to a real life situation. Imagine down at the corner shop, we've bought a newspaper and a fizzy drink, which totals £1.80. We hand over a nice, crisp, clean £5 note, and we expect some change. Now, our change would be £1.80 subtracted from £5. And all subtraction is, is the gap between the two numbers, the difference between the two numbers. So I'm going to use the counting on method to bridge that gap. The first jump I would make would be simply to get to £2. So that's 20p. The next jump, very, very simple, £3. That's a jump of a pound. Same thing again to get to £4. And finally, to get to my £5. And there we are. And my change is all of these added together, which is £3.20. I'm going to apply the counting on method of subtraction to a more complex question. And it's just a, such a brilliant way to help your child understand exactly what subtraction is. It is the difference between the two numbers, the gap between the two numbers. So I'm going to start with my 186, and I'm going to bridge the gap to 473 in a series of jumps. But it's important to get your child to do these jumps however they feel comfortable. The first one I would do on this example, for me personally, 190 seems a logical jump, a jump of four. I'd then jump another 10 to get me to 200, a further 200 to get me to 400, and then finally a jump of 73 to get me to my 473. And my answer is simply the addition of all of these jumps. 4 plus the 10, 200 plus the 73. Now for me, I would simply do 200 plus the 73, 273, 283, 287. And that is my final answer. I hope that helps.